Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. Let's go because we got so much to talk about when it comes to XRP. It's going to be quite an exciting episode. So strap yourselves in and let's get to it. So the XRP price rally and Ripple's current legal victories could signal an SEC settlement. It is coming. We can feel it in the air. And also from a technical perspective, the price rally, the sentiment towards Ripple and XRP is really, really, really strong. So for those of you that have been holding, not just since December and this whole SEC case, but I'm talking about the holders from like 2017, your patience will be rewarded. And it's such an exciting time to be an XRP holder. And in this article on FX Street, it just talks about some of the things that you guys already know, you know, another legal uh, victory, um, you know, uh, both Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, um, have not had to give their bank account details to the SEC. The judge has said, no, nope, we don't need it. Um, I don't see how this is relevant. I don't see how it's got to do with anything about the case. You guys can't have it. So another win for, for, for Ripple in that sense. Uh, from a price action point of view, obviously after a massive rally, you know, it, it, you know, the price just doesn't continue to go up forever. There has to be some form of retracement. So... You know, we've um, we've bounced really nicely off, you know, like at one stage we were at 147 and now, you know, we're just sitting around $1.39. But I mean, if you asked me this time last week uh, that XRP would be $1.39, I would have laughed, you know, like we was just sitting at around max 70 cents. So $1.39 for me is more, uh, more than enough. And, you know, it's fan fantastic, you know, to... To see and to be honest you know like a, a little bit out of nowhere as well which is uh which is always nice when you are um you know investing and, and trading so a couple of days ago one chain um came out with an announcement that uh, one chain will integrate xrp into its mainnet to en enable yield farming again i don't want to get too technical but it's very exciting obviously um that more and more businesses are integrating and working in partnership with the ripple um with the ripple network and, and you know what xrp is so very very cool check it out you know if you type in one chain um in, to integrate with xrp there's heaps of articles about it that, that explain that and remember that the purpose of the channel is to give you the information and for you to go away and do your own research uh, i hate you know handing things over on a silver platter because the more you research the more posture you have when it comes to the market so when the market dips you don't worry because you've done the research and you back your 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 research and so the founder jack lou of one chain came out and you know made the um you know discuss about this new partnership let's check, check it out let's hear what he had to say one moment let me just get that up. there we go I'm so happy to announce that OneChain's decentralized cross-chain bridges for XRP are about to go live on mainnet. This means that XRP tokens can now be used for liquidity mining and yield farming. XRP holders can now engage with DeFi applications such as OneSwap, OneLand, OneFarm, and many more on OneChain and Ethereum and certainly on more blockchains in the future. I just want to say welcome to every XRP holder. Come and join us. Let's build this new DeFi world together. It's always great when founders, you know, come out and, you know, make these type of announcements. You know, again, nothing, you know, nothing major that, that he had to say about it, but it is really, really uh, exciting to, to say the least that, you know, this is happening and it's going to be um, available. And obviously, you know, it brings the, it brings XRP into the DeFi space and enable to interact with other integrated chains like S1, EOS, ETH, BTC soon and DOT and more. And so again, exciting. It's looking towards the future and, you know, as always, very, very positive. As mentioned previously, the SEC versus Ripple, uh, the court has denied the SEC request for personal financial records, and it says that it's not connected to XRP. And I think the key here is to look at the headline. It says not connected to XRP. 
So what I think is going to happen, and I've been mentioning this for quite some time on the channel, is that as far as the founders and what happened back, you know, like almost 10 years ago or whenever it happened, right? That's one thing. But XRP as a currency, as what it is today, I think there's going to be a settlement. So I think there'll be an outside of court settlement. And I think we have to read between the lines here and, you know, the judge saying not connected to XRP. So I, the judge has made has drawn a line between founders and it, the actual XRP token. And I think that is super, super critical um, and very, very cool to see. Other news as well, um, Flair has been, you know, doing tremendous the last couple of um, last couple of days as well. And for those of you that held XRP in December, um, I believe it was December 12 that you had to have it or December 20. In December, if you held XRP on a exchange that was part of the flare airdrop you will be receiving your flare um, in quarter two no specific dates have been have been drawn yet keep in mind that at the moment flare is only on a couple of exchanges so when it comes to all the exchanges we will see a price change but exciting for everyone that held xrp back then because you're going to be getting something that is very very powerful which has been spoken about of again uh, over here we got um one of um a twitter handle xos you know, he says, you know, ready to springboard. And what he means is that, you know, this is a, a bullish uh, setup right here. And what it, what it means is that the, the price reached a high of 149, is now consolidating and is now ready to kick off, uh, kick off again. So super, super cool to see that. I want to show you here, check out the volume. Look at the volume in 2018 and look at the volume in 2021. And Look at the price that it shot back in, you know, 2018, January. And look where we are today. We are set for, like, things that you never thought were possible are about to happen with XRP. And I know that, you know, you, you hear these things all the time. But from a technical perspective, you know, like the bull run that XRP is about to have is going to be legendary. And I've mentioned this on a couple of times. So the bull flag is in progress on the XRP chart and also on X, XRP uh, BTC chart as well. So very, very bullish what, what you're seeing here now. And then from a, um, you know, obviously, you know, we've already covered, you know, XRP um, has partnered with um, uh, one chain. We can see here as well, from a, from a chart perspective, you know, like there is so much to go still between um, XRP BTC on the weekly. And uh, um, again, really, really, really exciting uh, really exciting stuff going on and it's wherever you look at XRP at the moment, you know, we are about to begin what, what will truly be a monumental uh, moment in time for, for XRP. I mentioned yesterday that, you know, I do believe that XRP will be $3.30 this week and I, I do stand by that because it is looking so bullish. You know, TrendingView.com has mentioned, you know, again, that it's still a buy. So regardless of the price that run that it's had, it's still very much looking like a definite buy we got some price uh, we've had some price resistance and you know we've seen the price today drop i think today like the lowest uh, that the price dropped was let's have a look a low of 131 so if i look over here right about where those arrows are that's exactly where we are from a bullish um perspective you know to to begin again the the rise up and so it's played perfectly today, you know, like it's gone down to about 131, it's come back up, it's had a bit of resistance, and now it's starting to uh, to trend up again. So very, very cool. I want to give you a couple of scenarios because as always in the channel, I, I know that you don't want just, you know, fairy tales and that everything's going to go up, you know, tremendously vertically without any resistance. A couple of scenarios. I believe from here, we are going to $2 and you know, definitely $2 and beyond. One of the scenarios is that we could go to two, come back down to one, and then push back up again beyond $2 and, and, and forward. The other scenario though, could be that we do hit a price resistance at $2, but a significant price resistance that drops us back almost to 70 cents before we begin the run again to $2.30, uh, $3 and, and beyond. I want to give you this scenario. I don't, I don't believe this to be the case. But again, I want you to be prepared for worst case scenarios because, hey, 
if you're ready, I'm ready, and then we can both, uh, um, you know, be expecting this rather than having a huge shock. You know, like you're at two dollars, you see your account plummet to one. What do you do? You sell. Normal. If you don't know that that is a normal reaction. You know, you're at two, it drops down to one. It's a normal reaction, but I want you to be prepared beforehand because a pullback like this could happen, and if it does happen, it's okay. It's not a problem at all. So I wanted to give you that scenario. The most likelihood of what I think is going to happen is we're, we're like I said, we're, like we're going to be pushing to a um, dollar seventy and beyond either today or tomorrow, and then continue to rise and continue to to push uh, forward really, really um, fast and, and aggressively, especially with all this news coming out. And, and you know, look at a settlement. You never know behind closed doors what is happening. You know, a settlement could be around the corner. But even without a settlement, I think we are going to a dollar seventy very very shortly and then i want to what i want to do today is i want to leave you with this um, amazing chart about what the future looks like for um for xrp and it's looking very very bright from a perspective point of view like i mentioned you know three dollars thirty this week i believe one of the next stops on the agenda will be fifteen dollars and then we push forward into 49 and $100 ranges. Now, again, as I've previously stated, that's not happening overnight. That is going to happen over a certain period of time. And then will be up to you at what stage do you sell, take profits, and, you know, um, and keep m pushing forward. But I wanted to bring you this because the future for XRP is extremely, extremely bright. I, I've also put here spark and i'm talking about the launch of spark and what spark will do the flare token so that also plays a huge role into the price prediction of xrp and over the coming weeks we will discuss spark and discuss how that will impact xrp because a lot of the xrp haters and the naysayers that haven't really understood Spark, or to be honest, I don't think they even know about the Flare token and the Flare network. So very exciting times ahead. If you learned something new today, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you all so much. You're amazing. Come forward to see you. I cannot wait to see you on the next one.